ZTE's flagship offering is now coming to Europe, but it comes with a few changes. Hey, it's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is the ZTE Axon Elite. Yes, you are looking at essentially the same phone that we already reviewed in the ZTE Axon, but the Elite is coming with a few particular changes. Underneath the surface, however, below the 5.5 inch Full HD 1080p display, you get a lot of the same great high-end specifications, including a Snapdragon 810. Uh, 4G LTE is obviously going to be what this phone will be able to give in terms of mobile internet. And on the rear there, you can already see the dual rear camera that is used for depth shots. The secondary camera is of a one 0.8 aperture that will provide some really great depth of field shots when it does work because it is software optimized. The camera in the rear itself is a 13 megapixel with a 8 megapixel front facing camera with all of the modes that you would hope for in a camera like this that should provide some pretty good quality and some fun selfies and even beyond. And from there we also have a 3000 milliamp hour battery and all of the other features underneath that include 3 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of onboard storage that can be expandable with micro SD cards. And then of course we have all of the other connections and various connectivity options that are available as well. So what we're going to focus on are the main additions in the Elite that will come to the European and Asian markets. But first in design, the 5.5 inch display is flanked by two grills on the top and bottom that have this triangular design, the pattern that is kind of the trope of the Axon line, uh, but they do provide sound and are dual front facing speakers. You'll find this triangle design in a number of different places on the phone as well, however. On the back, however, instead of just this sleek metallic unibody, you will still have some extras on the top and bottom. The top, let's say, tenth and the bottom tenth of the phone are now with leatherette designs. It's basically this faux leather that gives it a somewhat more executive look, uh, though we do think that it uh, feels just a little bit out of place on a phone that was supposed to be mostly metallic. And then, of course, in between those elements, you're going to have the dual rear-facing cameras, but now you also have a fingerprint sensor. Yes, the ZTE Axon Elite Elite is now focusing on biometric security, and the fingerprint reader is one of the first places that you'll be seeing that. Move over to the voice command, now one we didn't really show in this demo, but you can use your voice to unlock your phone as well. And the reason why we didn't really show it was because it was really loud in our particular area, but what we can show you is the Sky Eye, which is basically the eye printing uh, security measure that is available here. When you set it up, now one thing I will say is that you should probably have your glasses off when you're using this, and we've seen this in previous ZTE phones as well. It will scan your eyes using the front facing camera and make a print of them so that when you are about to unlock the phone, you just have to swipe down from the pattern or the pin lock and you'll be able to have the phone scan your eyes. And since you're looking at the phone already because it's scanning your retina, and your eye pattern, you'll be able to just move right into using the particular phone. It's a pretty unique and a pretty nice way of unlocking the phone and certainly makes the ZTE Axon Elite a little bit different from the other Axons that are available, especially the one that we've reviewed very recently. So really it was just a look at this European and Asian version of the ZTE Axon that we wanted to look at its differences uh, and really see where ZTE is putting some of the features that we do think should have been coming to the American version, but unfortunately are not going to be doing so. That being said, however, the ZTE Axon Elite is a further enhanced version of what was already a pretty good offering from ZTE in their flagship phone. Uh, and really, we just wanted to bring you this look at the Axon Elite. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more. Don't forget to check out the actual review of the ZTE Axon so you can see what this phone is really like and decide if it is for you. And then, of course, the Axon Elite for our European and most of our Asian uh, audience, you would be able to see if this is a phone you do want to have in your respective home countries. Uh, nonetheless, keep it tuned here to Android Authority for even more from IFA in Berlin as we're coming to you live from the show floor here with ZTE.